A 26-year-old presents in clinic with a right hip arthroscopy eight years prior at an outside institution. He reported an atraumatic injury while exercising and presents now complaining of a dull 7 out of 10 pain in the groin. His physical exam revealed 0 to 95 degree hip flexion, slightly restricted internal and external rotation with relatively normal abduction and adduction strength. The patient has not yet tried a new round of physical therapy or an intraarticular corticosteroid injection. The patient has tried anti-inflammatories with mild relief in pain. The patient's x-rays demonstrate residual impingement with a heterotopic ossification localized in the anterolateral region of the hip, an alpha angle of 55 degrees, and a lateral center edge angle of 38 degrees. The MRA revealed an acetabular labral retear, mild evidence of cartilage degeneration near the labral repair, CT shows heterotopic bone formation and reconfirms residual impingement. The mid-anterior portal, distal anterolateral accessory portal, and anterolateral portal are established. While viewing from the mid-anterior portal, a suture is passed through the distal portion of the interportal capsulotomy, and an arthroscopic scalpel is used to harvest a portion of capsular tissue through the anterolateral portal to be used as an autograft for labral augmentation. Care is taken to ensure enough capsular tissue remains to achieve a primary closure. A traction stitch is placed in the distal aspect of the interportal capsulotomy to maximize peripheral compartment visualization. A femoroplasty is performed working from the lateral synovial folds to the medial synovial folds. Fluoroscopic guidance confirms no evidence of impingement. Two anchors are initially placed at the 11 and 3 o'clock positions. After the stitches have been passed through the residual labral tissue, the stitches from the anterior and posterior anchors are passed through the graft using a free needle. The graft is placed through the dalla portal using the kite technique, and the graft is positioned into place before being knotted down. A third anchor is placed in between the outer anchors to better secure the graft to the acetabular rim. Traction is released, and capsular reconstruction of the capsulotomy is performed using a suture shuttling device. The heterotopic ossification was dissected free and removed. While viewing from the mid-anterior portal, the suture shuttling device is inserted from the anterolateral portal and retrieved from the dalla portal to ensure appropriate tension. When the capsule has been plicated, the femoral head articular cartilage is no longer visible.